This is what my Stormcast army looks like. And this is the amount of points that I'm guessing that I have in total. But in today's video, we're going to be finding out the exact amount of Stormcast that I have in my collection. Stay tuned. Slowly over the last few years, the hobby shed has started to fill up. We got two bikes, none of which are mine, plenty of desk space, a photography area that's mostly used to dump stuff on, and boxes. Oh boy, we got boxes on shelves, on the floor, boxes and boxes, under the desk. But these boxes, these are the ones that contain the Stormcast. But the storage boxes are at least somewhat organized. Everything's packed away nicely, but there could be any combination of stuff in here. And honestly, I'm probably going to find some more Stormcast that I forgot I even had. Off the top of my head, I know I have the original Age of Sigmar starter set and the whole collection from the Mortal Realms magazine, some of which isn't even built yet. And I think the only Stormcast models that I really set out to buy were the newest Dragon models. But it's funny, I never set out to have a Stormcast army, it just built and built over the last 6-7 to seven years. But the Skaven have always been my guys. And that's another army that I need to sort out soon, so keep an eye out for that video. After a lot of sorting and trying to figure out what is what, is it just me or are the Stormcast heroes really confusing for a casual Stormcast collector? But anyway, I finally have a handle on what I have and my estimate of 3000 points has been surpassed. I massively underestimated what I have in this collection. Let's start with where it all began with the original starter box from 2015, 7 years ago. It feels so much longer than that. And I'm going to admit that on this one I really wish I had painted these when the first came out. It would have been a great start to a new era of Warhammer. But I was more interested in the corn side of the box rather than the Stormcast. From the first starter box to one of the newest with Dominion from 2021. And I loved the Stormcast from this era. And not only did I get the box, but I also picked up the two new dragon sets and the battle tome. But I actually ended up taking a liking to the Cruel Boys instead. But I still really like these guys, they look amazing and I'm looking forward to painting them, eventually. Then we come to the Mortal Realms magazine collection. And this is where the bulk of my collection comes from. The magazine went on for so long that after a certain time I wasn't able to keep up with building each model that came out every week. But this collection is amazing. It gave us so many different models and honestly if it wasn't for this magazine I probably wouldn't have a Stormcast army. It usually takes until I have a model physically in my hands to decide if I want to collect that army or expand more on the few bits that I already have. And this magazine did exactly that. It wasn't until I had some of this collection built that I started taking a like into the Stormcast, even though I still get confused with all their heroes. There are a few models from the collection that I still need to build, like the Celeste and Prime and a couple of other duplicates, but the whole collection is here. I had mentioned earlier that I had gotten the new Dragon releases, and this was a no-brainer. I had to get them because these are a fantastic centerpiece for the army. These came out around the time the magazine was nearly finished, and I thought these are going to be the cherry on top of the Stormcast cake, and would make the perfect models to finish my Stormcast collection. Although, I would like to get two more Storm Drake Guard. The final part of the army is made up of various eBay buys and duplicates from the Mortal Realms magazine. There's nothing new here that's not in the army already, except for the box of liberators that lets me build with some variations. Well that's the entire collection, and before I pulled everything out, I know I was guessing that it was just going to be around or over the 3000 points mark, and the further I went along I quickly realised that I was easily going to surpass that number, but I really didn't think the number was going to reach just under 10,000 points. I think I can say that with this many Stormcast, I don't see myself adding to it anytime soon, but as I said earlier, maybe two more Storm Drake guard would be nice just to bulk out the unit a bit, and maybe a Star Drake because it's a cool looking model. But for now, I'm happy with this Stormcast collection. And all I got to do now is try and figure out a paint scheme. 